Shotguns in Apex Legends are awesome, fun to use, and highly effective at close to mid-range. Welcome back everyone, my name is Fallout, and let's talk about how to use shotguns well in Apex Legends. Now, unlike some other games I could mention, shotguns in Apex are extremely consistent, so much so that it almost makes me want to cry tears of joy. What am I talking about? Each shotgun has a predetermined pellet pattern. No matter how you shoot the weapon, the pellet pellets are going to come out the same way each and every time. The pellet spread depends on the type of shotgun, but we'll get to that in a minute. Another interesting thing, there appears to be no damage drop-off point. Each pellet does a predetermined amount of damage, and as long as you hit your enemy, doesn't matter how far away from them you are, the amount of damage per pellet will remain the same as if you were right up next to the target. Granted, it's way easier to land shots from up close because shotguns fire in a cone shape. So the further away the target is from you, the less likely you are to land each and every pellet from your cone. Another thing, despite what you might think, shotguns in Apex are all projectile weapons, not hitscan. If you're unfamiliar with those terms, projectile just means that the bullets have travel time and they don't connect with your target immediately. Even though they are projectile weapons though, the bullet travel time is really fast. At close range, aka where you're going to be using your shotgun the most anyway, you won't really know notice the bullet travel time at all. Anyway, let's talk about each shotgun, starting with the Peacekeeper. It's a pump action shotgun, so you have to cock the weapon after each time you fire. Now what it lacks in rate of fire, it makes up for in punching power. The Peacekeeper will fire 11 pellets per shot in a star-like pattern. Each pellet does 10 damage on a hit, meaning if you land all of your pellets in one shot, that is 110 damage, which is pretty big. If one of your pellets goes up and hits the enemy in the head, that's an extra 5 crit damage for a total of 115. Yeah, like every other bullet in the game, all shotgun pellets do more damage if they connect with the head. But for the most part, your goal of shotguns should be to aim for center mass so you land more pellets overall. You shouldn't be aiming for the head. Well. Not entirely, but we'll get to that later. In terms of pellet spread, the pellets fired by the Peacekeeper apparently are just as tightly bunched together when you hip fire as they are when you aim with the weapon. I can't yet talk about how different scopes affect the pellet spread, or if they do at all, more on that another time, but for right now, the fact of the matter is that you shouldn't hesitate to hip fire the Peacekeeper at all. You won't lose any noticeable pellet tightness if you do. In fact, the pellet cone on the Peacekeeper is so tight that at the target range in training mode, you can continually land all 11 pellets on the smaller, body-ish shaped targets from a range of about 32-ish meters. Now I know that an in-game player is shaped a little differently than the targets on the range. Real players are definitely thinner, for sure, and they have uh, one head, not three. But the point is that if you're accurate, the Peacekeeper can be painfully effective at dealing damage even if you aren't right up next to your enemy. Overall, a great shotgun. Moving on, let's talk about the Mozambique, aka the shotgun pistol. This thing has a tiny default mag, three shots. Each round fires three pellets in a triangle-shaped pattern at 15 damage each for a grand total of 45 damage. A crit with the Mozambique will do 22 damage rather than 15, so ideally, if you're ever stuck using this thing, your goal should be to at least have the shot at the top of the pyramid hit your target in the face. I was hoping that there would be more to the Mozambique than originally met the eye, but there kinda isn't. The magazine is shallow, its damage output is weak compared to its shoddy brethren, and only three pellets means even missing one pellet is going to drastically cut down on your already minor damage output. Unlike the Peacekeeper, the Mozambique needs to be aimed when firing. Need is a strong word. You should aim when firing. Where the Peacekeeper will continually maintain a tight spread even when hip firing, the Mozambique Mozambique spread will be way wider. When hip firing, it is almost a guarantee that even at close-ish range that you will not get max damage. At the very least, when you're aiming the gun, it is pretty accurate. The dummy takes all three pellets, even all the way out to about 40 meters. So if you're a good shot, it's likely you'll be able to hit your target with your entire spread. But if you're asking me, I prefer other shotguns that have the potential to hit harder. The only real upside to the Mozambique is that it fires full 
full auto. And it technically also happens to be the fastest firing shotgun in the game. No, I'm not kidding. It can fire off three rounds faster than any other shotgun, including the EVA 8 auto, only by a few frames, but still. Despite firing faster, the EVA 8 will be the better pick in my opinion, no matter what, because of the far deeper mag. If you find yourself in a situation where you only have a Mozambique for close range and you're in a firefight, maybe quickly fire off all three rounds and then insta-switch to your next weapon to finish off the enemy if you haven't already. Let's move on. The last regular shotgun you can pick up is the EVA 8 Auto. Why do they call it the EVA 8 Auto? Well, I don't know about the EVA part, but the weapon has a default magazine of eight and its pellets fire in a figure eight pattern doesn't fire eight pellets though, it fires nine, which is oddly irritating, and can do a maximum of 63 damage at seven regular damage per pellet. Critical hit pellets will do 10 damage each. Thankfully, the EVA functions much like the Peacekeeper. You can safely fire the weapon via hip fire and not have to worry about the pellet spread getting crazy wide. It seems to remain consistently tight no matter what. Even at about 30 meters out, the hip fire EVA was consistently landing every pellet. Again, the training range target is a little bigger than an in-game player, but still. The EVA, like the Peacekeeper, can seemingly do good damage further than very close range. It fires just a little slower than the Mozambique, but again, the upside being that it has a base magazine of 8 compared to the Mozambique's 3. It may not hit as hard as the Peacekeeper, but the deep mag and good rate of fire makes it a reliable close range damage dealer. Finally, let's move on to one of my favorite weapons in all of Apex, the rare gold tier shotgun, the Mastiff. This weapon is a work of art and very unique in terms of pellet spread. Unlike other shotguns, the Mastiff fires in a perfect horizontal line every time. Eight pellets, although it's kind of hard to tell as the pellets toward the middle are very tightly bunched together. You got two groups of two in the middle, very tightly knit, one on either side of the middle bunch, slightly further out for six pellets, and then finally two more each on the very outside of the entire spread. Eight Eight in total. Each pellet does 18 damage on contact, meaning you can do a maximum of 144 damage if every pellet makes contact with the body. But the Mastiff does something that other shotguns can't do as reliably, crit damage. Because the shot pattern is purely horizontal, you can actually aim for a target's head and reliably expect to land pellets and do good crit damage. Each crit pellet lands for 36 damage, so hitting a few of them in the head is really really going to ruin your enemy's day. Even just hitting the four centermost pellets from the Mastiff is going to deal 72 damage in the body, 144 in the head. Another thing about the Mastiff, it functions like the Mozambique, meaning that by aiming the weapon, your pellet spread is going to be much tighter overall. Unlike the Peacekeeper and the EVA 8, this is definitely one you don't want to hip fire, unless you're intentionally trying to hit more than one target. In short, if you wind up with a Mastiff, aim on most of your shots, and go for the head if you can. It's not a big deal if you aim for the body. Hitting body shots is still going to do big damage either way. And there you go, a quick review of how each shotgun in Apex performs. Get out there, grab a boomstick, and go to town. They are fun as hell to use and very effective when used the right way. If you enjoyed this weapon review and would like more, please let me know, both by liking the video and leaving a comment down below. If you're new here or you haven't done it, yet, please consider subscribing and help me towards my eventual goal of ruling the entire planet. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.